Hey there, scrappers. The shark went shopping. I bought myself a pickup load of server switches from one of the local schools. Come on, let's dive in and see what we're dealing with here. Remember, the safest way to watch out for the shark is to like and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell so you don't miss a single episode and be nice and tell your friends about it so they can be watching out for the shark as well. All right, scrappers. Well, this episode actually began a few days ago when I started bidding on a pallet of server switches that was being auctioned off by one of the local schools. Uh, of course, the auction went on for a few days. The pallet was advertised as 87 switches, turned out to be 90. Uh, that's fine. Uh, they always say approximate number anyway. I believe I got a pretty good price for these. We'll find out once I've uh, finished scrapping them and I've sold off the boards in the metal and things like that. And I'll let you know how that one plays out. Uh, so then the after I won the auction, of course, you pay it, then... Uh, you had to go pick it up, and that's what we're doing right here. But I know you don't want to watch me load this truck, so we're going to get through this and get on to some scrapping here. So this is the first uh, model that we're going to look at. It is the HP Procurve Switch 408. As you can see, this is not very big. There's my hand on it. So this is not a very big one. Uh, at best, we're going to get one board out of this one. Uh, in fact, I know we're going to get one board out of it because I already scrapped one of them. There's a total of five screws to get into this guy. And the first thing that will come off is this plastic decorative outer housing. And then the back plate just slides off like that. And it reveals a mid-side, mid-grade, excuse me, a mid-grade board. Big flat pack, two IC chunky tall IC types, a standard crystal oscillator, and a few small MLCCs, uh, copper. So, uh, you know, just a mid-grade, nothing exciting about it. Let's go ahead and pull it out, take a look at the back. Empty steel shell. So there's nothing on the back, uh, and as you can see, just a straight up uh, mid-grade board. Nothing terribly exciting about this board. Uh, fortunately, there were only four of them, so uh, this low value part of the buy uh, is not going to be too big a deal. All right, so our next Procurve to scrap is the Procurve Switch 2600 Power. All right, so the 2600 power uh, is the uh, next in size of the four types that I recovered from this auction. And uh, we got a few screws on this one, not too many. 
We'll jam through those real quick. If I need to, I will speed up the video. Yeah, okay, we're going to go ahead and speed this up. You don't need to see me unscrewing a bunch of things. Oh, rats. I am going to have to remove these. I hoped that I wouldn't have to, but they're going to have to come off as well. The other thing that I know we need to take off is the, these two screws that are holding this in place. Uh, eventually they have to come out anyway, so we might as well just go ahead and get them. plate had to come off. Didn't seem like it was holding any. Oh, it was holding in a power thing, so maybe that's the issue. There we are. All right, so steel. Nice piece of steel there. All right, and we have three boards inside of here. Let me get this ribbon wire out of the way. We'll be, uh, you know, taking the pins off of that eventually. All right, so we have one, two, three boards. This is just a power board, but it's got a lot of copper on it. Uh, this is definitely going to be a high grade board. We're going to look at this in more detail. Uh, but the uh, quick quick summary for you here, we've got some nice BGAs on it, a bunch of ICs, one, two, three, four gold edged oscillators, and some nice chunky MLCCs and a couple of tantalums. All right, this board, just a power board with uh, lots of copper winding on it. And then this final board is just a low grade with some connectors, gold uh, plated pins that will just probably strip that whole thing and, and trash that board. Lots of screws here. Some are hidden, but I think I know where they all are now. guys are all the way out. Sometimes even if they're unscrewed but just in a little bit they can hang up on things and cause us a problem. Of course there's one not really hiding, it's right there in the middle, hiding in plain sight. Alright so uh, not much on the back here. Some nice big chunky MLCCs that I'll pull off. Um, it was looked like me. They are not tantalums. They're not capacitors. All right. So some MLCCs back here to pull off. A thick film resistor. If you collect thick film resistors. Um, but uh, here's the money side of this board. Uh, and uh, that's a pretty nice board, so that's definitely going to be a high-grade board. And then the question becomes, these uh, gold-plated pins inside of these connectors. Do I pull off these connectors to guarantee? I'm pretty sure my yard will take, these, uh, take this as a high-grade even with those connectors. So then the question is, do I want to mess around with pulling off these connectors to get at those gold pins? Um, and uh, what am I going to depopulate from this board? 
I will very likely pull off the gold edged oscillators uh, because as you saw in one of my earlier videos there are some serious gold inside those uh, so I'll probably pull those that won't degrade the board at all and uh, the MLCC is from the other side and this will still be a nice high grade board alright so that's that board and we're sticking with the green boards first so let's get this guy out of here Alright, so this board has not much on it. Some gold pins on his side, a tactile switch that may have silver inside of it. Many of them have a little silver button in the switch. And nothing on the back side. Gold plated pins here. So this may be just a total take off what's of value and chuck the rest of it. Very uncooperative screws on this one. Sometimes they come right out. Sometimes <clears throat> they want to get. They want you to get them started first. I'm just going to go ahead and get them going here. And get these out because that's kind of a tight squeeze down inside there. These are not very long threads, so that's nice. just a little metal frame and then um, these uh, fans are screwed on this back side of it here so we'll take those screws out real quick chunk of steel here, two fans, we'll cut the wire off, get some insulated copper wire plus the plus the fans. Um, that's just the way my board seems to prefer to get the fans um, is because they you know they know that they're little motors and so they don't like to have the wire the, the wires on them for some reason I don't know why. Everybody's yards are a little bit different so you just have to get to know your yard and how they prefer it. Now these guys do not have any gold that I can see so I'm just going to chuck these in with the little metal parts because there is some tin in there and there's the little fans. So here's the power board, and uh, these, of course, are uh, this is aluminum heat sink here, uh, screwed on to probably some FETs on the other side. Uh, so I can um, probably what I'll do to maximize my value is break these off and store that aluminum, uh, waiting for the aluminum prices to go up. Lots of copper inside here, so I'm definitely going to be pulling this copper, and. Um, Maybe I'll leave this smaller aluminum on here to keep some weight on this board. And then these green boards that are inside here, 
don't have a whole lot of value in them. There's some uh, MLCCs that I can see that maybe I'll pull off. Uh, but otherwise, I don't see much on here that's got value. I'll pay a little bit closer attention. And if I see anything on these boards that does have any kind of real value to it, I'll come back and let you all know in a, in a supplementary note. Well, that was two of the four models that I have to get through for sample scraps. I hope you join me next time for the second episode where we look at the two larger version of switches that we got in this haul. We'll talk to you all again in a few days.